Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Com, and this is a new series called 30 for 30, where I do 30 rapid fire critiques in 30 days, 15 Adorama picks, and 15 Squarespace rapid fire critiques. If you want to see all of the rapid fire critiques in one place, go ahead, click up on the screen right now. We'll take you over to the website to do that, but let's get into a critique. Here we go, let's do this again. We have another video from my 30 for 30 in critiques, and this time we have an Adorama picks rapid fire critique from Clayton Ulmer. But before we get into that, I want to let you know if you haven't checked out Metal Prints at Adorama Picks, there is a code for 30% off. The code is PXMETFRO30 to give you 30% off your entire metal print order, whether you order one print or a thousand prints. They're going to give you 30% off until September 30th of 2015. So go ahead, take advantage of that. And let's get into this creek. Creek. That would be critique. This set is for Jared Poland from Frono's Photo to critique. Uh, so here we go, let's get into this. Boom, what are we shooting with? We got a Canon EOS 7D with a 17 to 50. Love that 17 to 50, by the way. Two eight, uh, whether it's a Sigma or a Tamron, probably gonna do about the same thing, so I love it. Um, huh. So I like, wow, what harsh sunlight. But it's harsh sunlight from the back, and it looks like a strobe is fired into the front. So I, I don't mind it. I like what's going on. I, I would like to see the color of this. I am a big proponent of black and white, but I would like to see the the like to see the color because we're kind of losing the interest in the face here. Um, and I think that the color may bring everything out a little more. But compositionally, it's fine. Exposure, it's fine. Uh, and editing, very good. Shh. EOS Rebel T1i with a 70 to 200, 2.8. Oh my God. <laughs> so again, the reason I look at the, the, the cameras that are being used, the gear that's being used, it helps me determine the type of feedback that I give. In this case, we've got a professional 70 to 200 2.8 lens on the front of a T1i. So many people think that you can't get great results with a consumer, and that is one of the most consumerist end cameras you could ever see is a T1i. And they threw a 70 to 200 2.8, whether they own it or they rented it, they used it. Put good glass on things, you're, gonna, you're bound to get some awesome results if you know what you're doing. So it looks like we've got a flash popping off again, but this is nice. Love the composition. Love the background being blown out the way that it's being blown out. Nice light on the hair, nice editing and processing, nice tones. Really, all overall, beautiful shot. I'm very happy with this. I like to see this. Um, nice job. Really good. I thought I saw my logo. I did see my logo. So really nice shot right here. This is okay, not too much interest. Obviously, I like the color more than the black and white from prior, but this is, unless it's in a photo story that's telling something, it's just boring, plain, blah. Everything else is fine. Exposure, editing, composition. Maybe I'd like to see a horizontal here, but there's not much else I can say. It's fine, it's okay, it's just not that impressive. I don't know what hat that is. Back to the 7D. May of uh, 2014. I mean, I would be curious to see what the hat. Obviously, it's a new era hat. I don't sh. I'm not really sure what that is. Um, but if it has something to do with the city, then it's a win. It's a total win. What does that say up there? I can't read what that says. Um, but it's okay. It's a little too yellow for my taste. I think you pull some of that out. It's a little too. It's a little too warm. Abnormally warm. But compositionally, like it, like the processing as well. Um, so we got a very Michael Bublé style thing going on here. I am, I like the exposure on the subject, but I am totally, absolutely hurt by this black gradation thing that's going on. I'm just, it's, it's, it's hurting me because the microphone should be important here. I would like to see this on all white or all gray. It's just that, is it, is it hurting anybody else out there? I could be absolutely wrong, of course. But I feel tension when I'm looking at this because he's got a microphone in one hand, some liquor in the other hand, this weird transitional phase thing going on. Maybe it's meant to cause some strain or some stress in my mind, but I don't like it. It's just, that's, that's hurting me. That, that, I gotta go on to the next one. And that's beautiful. Ooh, she looks like Kira Knightley for a second. It's beautiful, but she's not sharp. What's this taken at? Five, six, one sixtieth, one one sixtieth of a second. All right, so unless the IS was on 
kind of breaking the rules right there for hand holding. Let's see. It's it's so it, it all right. How do we get around this image? I think it's sharp right here. Or sharper right there. It's it's off. And unfortunately, it's off and you can't correct for the fact that 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 the that the focus is off. And sometimes the backlighting can screw with your focusing, but this is one where I don't think the processing is done right. I think the exposure needs to come down and the contrast needs to go up and that may even tighten up the image. Uh, but you're not going to correct for it missing. At 5.6, there is no reason why if you focused on her eye or the child that they both shouldn't be in focus. So this is either movement that they're moving and the focus modes are wrong, like in single focus and she's walking with the child, or they're moving and you locked in and you missed, or the shutter speed at 1 160th of a second, well, it's not too slow because you're at 1 137, 137 millimeters. So no, I'm off, I'm wrong there now that I see that. But I just think that it could have been better. The focus is missed, which means that the shot is out. I'm trying to see if that's out too, and the background's what's in focus. At f4, I mean, this is fine, contemplative. I don't like this reflection over here that we can see the street wor uh, workers over there. Uh, he's too in the middle of the image for my like in 2012. So this is a long time ago uh, when it was taken. But if we get the composition better, let's draw the composition box. I'm just going to get my, look, look, I would do something along the lines of this. It would be leading you out of the frame. Or you can change your angle so we cut out this. And also I think the black and white could work here for high contrast. But putting him right in the center of the frame, not so much, not so good right there. It's got to be off to the side. What year? 2013 again, Rebel T1i. This is okay, I get it, I get what's going on, but a little over, I mean, we got a very harsh side light. If there was uh, some writing here for, for a magazine or something, maybe it would, it would be better. I just think it's, e, for something like this, I think we could smack dab put him in the middle. Uh, and I get that we don't have light over here, but maybe a little light shown in on the X could bring it out a little more. Um, this is cool, having a subject in the middle of a street that looks like there are no cars anywhere to be found until you look over here and see a Jeep or whatever the heck it is. And it kind of is like, well, damn, we have no cars and no pedestrians and nobody else in this frame whatsoever. And then we have a car over here. I like the concept and I like what's going on. It's just that car, get rid of it, please. And then we've got that same symbol that was on the hat. This is interesting. This is a shot from some work I did with a self-hired uh, self -hired for their lookbook. So whatever self-hired is, this was the first time that I was using off-camera flash outside of the studio. Well, I like when there's some information about everything. Um, this is cool. I like that we have the background going on, as long as that has something to do with the image itself. Uh, her laying here, that's a nice looking so. Well, I don't know if it's a nice looking sofa or if it looks like a sheep, but I don't mind it. So what is going on here? It's lit well, it's balanced well with the background and the subject, which is the whole point of off-camera flash. Not sure what this is on the ground. Trash or something like that. Try to watch out for that in the background, but it's pretty good. Black and white could be cool too, but you'll lose some of the definition in the sky. So overall, I'm pretty happy with what I've seen here. Now it looks like they're from a, a couple years ago, most of these shots, but what I like about it is that the exposures are good, the processing is pretty good. Some of the composition could be done better, but I'm happy with what I'm seeing. It's a, it's a nice little progression. So let's see it take it further. The best shot in there is the Ashley Madison sh one. That is one of the best shots there. So I'd like to see more portrait work along those lines, but that is where we will leave it. That is another 30 for 30 rapid fire critique. This time it was the Adorama Picks rapid fire critique. If you haven't gone to Adorama Picks to check out the Illuminize prints, I flat out love them because they come ready to hang. You don't have, like a 24 by 36 is like 189 bucks plus shipping. That's huge. Plus it comes ready to hang. So you don't have to get it framed to spend money on framing. You don't have to spend money on glass. You can wash it literally with Windex if you want to clean it off uh, if it gets dusty. And you get 30% off using the code up on the screen. So if you spend 200 bucks, you're getting 60 bucks off. You can't beat that. That pays. Not only does that pay for your shipping, 
but you're saving a lot of money. You could almost get more prints for free. So go ahead, use that code up on the screen. Take advantage of that until September 30th, 2015. Thank you for watching Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. To check out all the videos from this 30 for 30 series, go ahead and click up on the screen right now. It's going to take you over to the post over on froknowsphoto.com where you can see all 30 posts once they are live.